Hello everyone, welcome to my little tutorial on how to get uh, Mo Creatures mod installed and running. So first things first, you need to download the files you're going to need. So just open up a browser and search for Mo, and I should have it right pulled up, Mo Creatures mod. And hopefully the first thing that'll come up is the minecraftforums.net. Click on that. Now you're going to want to go to that page, obviously. It's taking forever. Okay. So scroll down once you get to there until you see the download information. Now what you want to do is look for the most current downloads. You have um, latest developers versions here. You have some of the older versions here. Just look for the latest. This one looks to be the latest right now. But you can see there's the first file is Dr. Uh, Zark's Mo Creatures file. And you want to make sure you get the one that it says is most recent. Um, the GUI API file. You want to get the custom mob spawner. And you want to get yourself a copy of Forge. And you want to make sure you have the most recent. And the file that's listed there may not be the most recent. So the best thing to actually do is just to look up Forge Minecraft or something. And it should pull up their website. And you have files.minecraftforge.net. Go to that one. And you'll see it says latest up here at the top. And you can look right over here. And they'll have the installer file. So you just click on that. And they'll get you going with the latest one. So once you've downloaded all your files, which I've already done beforehand to save time, you want to pull them up. So go to your downloads folder. And you may have other files in here. If you do, you're going to have to look for them individually. If not, you know, be easier. You can just see them right here like I have them. So you need these three for the mod itself and this one for the forge installer. So first things first, let's open the Forge installer. You want to do install client. You want to hit OK there. And that's all there really is to it. It'll say install the latest client. It shows you the numbers there. So that's done. Now you want to cut out, because there's really no point in making a copy, cut out those files. And I keep a shortcut to Minecraft on my computer. But if you don't have a shortcut, the easiest way to do it is to percent sign app d a t a data like that and then another percent sign enter that and it'll take you to your app data folder in the roaming files and you can see minecraft's up here at the top for me so i click on that now i just open the mods folder i paste these mods in you can use these mods usually with other mods um, as long as they're all the current custom, you know, current versions of the mods uh, to what you're playing on Minecraft. Sometimes they don't work, sometimes they do. Just kind of play around with it. If you want to absolutely make sure it works, take out all other mods before you start. So open up Minecraft, and you want to pick the profile, which normally it'll have like your username or something. If it doesn't say Forge already down here, which it probably won't, you want to click this and then select the forge profile go to edit profile make sure all the information looks correct which mostly you're just checking the version and yes this is the one we downloaded most recent so save profile hit play that's really all there is to do in the installation process of this um, if you have any issues or anything you, know, you can feel free to leave a comment and ask so now we're just gonna do a single player game and then we want to create a world. I'm just going to say new world. Do creative so I can fly and such. And let's see if it works. It should work. <laughs> now usually if it doesn't work for you. Um, the main reasons why it wouldn't work. would be Usually is because you've downloaded by accident the wrong version of something. So in that case, go back and look at your three mod files to it and check and make sure that they all say the correct version. Second thing why it wouldn't run is you have either conflicting mods already in your mod folder or 
you're just using the possibly the wrong forge version you know the wrong launcher so make sure you have the right minecraft launcher selected so you're using the right version of minecraft and so there was an adorable bunny where'd it go i don't know let's look around and see if we see other stuff there's all kinds of animals in here it's so much fun uh let's see here <laughs> we're kind of like in this weird snowy area where there's probably not going to be as many what the look it's an animal it's a i'm not sure if this is an elephant or like a mammoth might be a mammoth i think it is a mammoth i've seen elephants before they don't look like that elephants are cuter if that makes sense so there's literally dozens and dozens and dozens of animals in this mod it really opens up the game to all new gameplay. There's also a whole lot of new villains. Uh, I say villains, but you know what I mean. Evil mods, uh, mobs that will try to attack you and whatnot at night. Tons of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and it helps you install it, you know, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy Mo Creatures as much as I do. And I will talk to you guys next time. Let's see. Yes, we did. And a baby goat. There is literally, I think, around 100 different things it adds. Maybe more. Probably more. There's like a deer.